It's your Moika here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replay missions to get easy XP and level up fast. So first off, I'm just going to choose a character. Um, let's just choose my legit one, because then I know that I have completed missions. What I'm going to do is first off go in the game and show you like a mission which I have completed. I'm going to go over to game and show you how to make it available again. Alright, so first off, wrong button, sorry. Let's go to your yeah, missions. And you can see completed. Let's just go to that one. Wait, no, that's a main one, so I'm not sure if you can do it with main ones, but I just don't want to mess it up at the moment. So I'll try it after the video and leave in the description whether it works or not. Alright, so let's say this one. Rock, paper, genocide, fire weapons. So keep that in mind. You know that I have completed that, as you can see here, rock, paper, genocide, fire, weapons. Okay, so let's go to Gib to save editor. Hey guys, and we are now on the desktop, so we're just going to want to open up Gib to Borderlands 2 save editor, which will always, of course, be in the description. So let's just go ahead and open that. Now, obviously... I have had a few tutorials, so I'm not going to go through basics, but obviously I was on the PC, so I'm just going to have the drop down on PC, and then we go to find our save, which I was doing my accident legit, which as you can see is this one, as is the one that's latest been modified, so obviously it was that one since that's the last one we've been on. Now as you can see it is because it's level 10, it's accident, it's everything that we had. So let's just go to the raw tab. and we want to go down to mission playthroughs here and click on the drop down and then you can see there's three playthroughs as I only have like I don't have all the DLCs if you know what I mean so there's three playthroughs obviously the second two have no data because I'm only level 10 and I'm only on the first playthrough so what we're going to want to do is click on the playthrough that you're currently on or the one that you're going to do it on if you're doing this to get XP, I uh, suggest that you do it on the latest playthrough that you've been on so you get more XP for the mission. Just going to click on mission data on the drop down and then find your mission which you was doing. The one that I was doing was rock, paper, genocide with fire, which is the one that we did, but I've done them all. So there's the corrosive one. Let's find the fire one. That's shock. So this one will be fire. There we go. And then we're just going to scroll down and where it says complete can change it to any of these except you do not want to change it to uh, not started I think it is because w when you go to talk to the person where you get the quest from you will not be able to talk to them so you won't be able to activate it so you're just gonna want to change it to ready to turn in so you can just go over there and turn it in let's just hit ok ok again and save as that is all we're doing for today's video and just save it over your file, just like that, to replace it. Save it again just for safe measures. And close that, close that, and let's go back over to Borderlands 2 to see that it's worked. Hey guys, we are back on Borderlands 2, so now I'm just going to select the character and select the commander or whatever character you did like the modding on, uh, you know, just to update it, and then I'm just going to go ahead and click continue. And now from here, just open the quests, as you can see there, Rock, Paper, Genocide, Fire, which is the one we did, is ready to turn in, and as you can see, you'll only get 316 from it because it's on the first playthrough and it's one of the first missions. But as I said earlier, if you do it on later playthroughs on like harder missions where you get quite a lot of XP, you will get that XP and basically you can just keep doing this and, you know, level up really quick. I, to be honest, I don't really know why you'd want to do this because you can just change your level using Gibbed, but if you want to do it like a more legit way and you want to level up your friends, I suppose, you can do that. So yeah, I suppose you can just do this to level up your friends as well. Let's just go with that. So yeah. What you want to do is, just give me a minute, just gonna put the mic there. Alright, so you are going to want to fast travel to wherever it 
is something true that you can see rock, paper, gems, and fire. So let's fast travel there. And just wait for it. <laughs> Alright, so we are now spawning in. So let's go ahead and run over to Marcus's. God, it really looks different on the PC board, actually, because I'm used to the Xbox one. It looks really different. It's weird. Right, then we're just gonna go, go and talk, and there you can see you can turn in the mission. And there you have it, we just gained 316 XP. And there we go, and now we can continue with the quest line. Like after fire the shock, and then there's corrosive, etc. So this Hyperion the, fascist thinks he's safe because he's got a shield. And you can do it all Spoilers, again. he isn't. Yep. It's only a matter of time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. And be sure to look in the description, check out all the links for the cheap games, cheap controllers, cheap accessories for your gaming consoles, and yeah, just things along that line. So yeah, peace.